Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. He clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Gushing for February 19th to March 5th. Uh, we're still talking about um, a, a sudden stratospheric warming event. And this is seen in the winds here as they begin to shift from westerly to more easterly. So there's a lot of changes still going on, but still the models are not really catching up in, on this, catching on. And um, this would generally be occurring um, the end of the month into March. Okay, um, we're going to go and look at the forecast now. This forecast period is for um, March 19th to the 23rd. And we're still calling for a ridge trough ridge configuration, a zone of flow across the country. And this will be between an um, upper low here over, over Canada, and we have a ridge here across the Caribbean. So we have this broad cyclonic flow uh, occurring here. Now, uh, at the beginning of this period, the um, Climate Prediction Center has, has issued a, um, a hazard alert for extreme temperatures across the northern tier of the states, New England, and we've got to see how far, and New England, and see how far south this extends. Um, this will be like later in February into March. But again, like the pattern, uh, I'll show you the models are still not catching on. So um, during this forecast period, temperatures expect to remain below normal in the west with anomalies of 10 degrees or more below normal. The east will remain above normal with anomalies near 10 degrees, but then will trend downward a little bit uh, as we go to the weekend and then they'll, they'll rise again. And below normal precipitation for a large portion of the west, most of the plains and the middle and lower Mississippi Valley and above normal precipitation forecast for the central Gulf Coast states into the central, uh, into the interior mid-Atlantic region. We're going to look at the period for February 24th to the 28th, and see the pattern doesn't change much, ridge, ridge trough, ridge configuration. This is when we're supposed to be seeing a major disruption in the um, polar vortex. But you can see here, as we get here, we uh, late in the period, we have um, positive height numbers that uh, move westward into Greenland. We got to see how far they extend to. And so for this forecast period, I'm calling for, let me see, calling for below normal temperatures here. We got to see if this comes down further to the south. I'm calling for numbers near four degrees below normal, could be more, especially out west. Above normal, precip uh, above normal temperatures are forecast here with anomalies near six degrees above normal for precipitation, calling for below normal, above normal precipitation for a large portion of the country, and the probability of occurrence is, no, this is the wrong map. Okay, hold on. Okay, this is the right map. Above normal precipitation forecast for much of the country, and the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. Looking ahead to the period for March 1st to the 5th, we're expecting the polar vortex. Look, the pattern remains almost the same, a little bit flatter flow. We still have our ridge here across the Caribbean, but the below normal heights kind of sink a little bit further to the south. And we still have our positive height anomalies near Greenland, but they're not very strong, as some of the models indicate. But it looks like it, it wants to push further south. We have to see again if this continues to be the case as we get close to the period. So um, for this forecast period, I'm calling for a little change in temperature anomalies and for precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence near 40%. And then we have... Uh, below normal precipitation for Florida, southern Georgia, and for this region, and the probability of occurrence is near 35%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for February, for February 19th through March 5th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather, and have a good day.